Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah the Break. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Directive 51 of the year 2019 that calls on the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council to convene. The first article of the directive calls on the two councils to meet on the afternoon of October 13th of the current year to commence the second term of the fifth legislative session. On the occasion of World Habitat Day, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa stressed that achieving the Sustainable Development Goals 2030 approved by the United Nations requires serious international partnership in supporting communities to move on the right path towards progress, especially as the world is currently experiencing numerous political, security and environmental challenges that negatively affect countries' plans to improve their economic conditions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the need for sustainable development uh, processes in all societies to operate according to mechanisms and programs that are efficient, flexible and able to anticipate the challenges and requirements of the future and that these programs should be directly linked to the needs and priorities of the citizens and contribute to improving their lives in a sustainable way to ensure quality life for them. His Royal Highness highlighted the important role played by the United Nations and its specialized agencies in assisting countries and communities to achieve the sustainable development development goals by providing them with technical and research advice. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain has attached great attention to the issues of sustainable development and the preservation of the environment out of its keenness to fulfill its international obligations in this field and belief in the collective responsibility to preserve the planet. His Royal Highness called on the international community to focus on providing the elements that guarantee security, peace and stability, which is achieved through the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development adopted by the United Nations. His Royal Highness pointed out that this year's World Habitat Day's theme, Frontier Technologies as an innovative tool to transform waste to wealth, is of special importance because it focuses on a crucial issue noting that addressing environmental challenges including waste should be a priority in the next phase because it is linked to the present and future of humanity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks and appreciation from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronizing the government form for the fourth year, which reflects the Premier's keenness to implement the visions and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in support of the Comprehensive Development March aimed at benefiting the nation and the citizens. His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince stressed that His Royal Highness, the Premier's patronage of the government form 2019, confirms his firm approach to develop the government's action system, whose solid basis had been laid by His Royal Highness, the Premier, as well as to build on the previous achievements of which everyone is proud and which have great impact on bringing about progress and prosperity to the nation and the citizens. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, pointed out that everyone is keen on participating in the fourth edition of the Government Forum to highlight the achievements of various government departments and discuss ways to continue drawing strategies and development plans to ensure promising future opportunities for all. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, prayed uh, to Allah the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness, the Premier, with abundant health and happiness and to guide him on the right path. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in reply to his congratulations on the success of the Government Forum 2019. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed pride in His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's dedication to efforts to serve the nation during His Majesty the King's prosperous era, noting that Bahrain will witness more progress and prosperity under His Majesty the King's leadership. His Royal Highness the Premier stressed that the continuity of the government form reflects His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's efforts aimed at improving the performance of the public sector and implementing the strategic goals of the government's development plans to achieve the best for the nation and the citizens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed confidence that the results of this year's government form would contribute to further developing the performance of the public sector. His Royal Highness the Premier wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince success in his efforts to serve the nations. 
Upon the patronage of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa of the government form 2019 and in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that developing the government services system and raising them to the highest levels of quality and productivity is a continuous approach that the government has maintained for its belief in its importance as a necessity for supporting the sustainable development endeavors and addressing various challenges. His Royal Highness stress that enhancing the government's efficiency and simplifying the measures of providing various government services and completing them promptly represents a vital motive for growth and achieving citizen satisfaction. His Royal Highness noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King continues in achieving its desired goals and ambitions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister emphasized that government's wide-ranging priorities are designed to fulfill the aspirations of Bahrain citizens to build on recent achievements and to ensure continued sustainable development. In this regard, he noted that the Kingdom continues to capitalize on opportunities to enhance its global competitiveness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister then commended His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's continued efforts in further developing government performance and service delivery. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed all government executives to continue development efforts and ensure an open-door policy to citizens in order to understand their various needs. His Royal Highness then underscored the importance of overcoming current challenges and working towards constructive cooperation based on an innovative vision to further enhance the Kingdom's competitiveness, noting the importance importance of meeting the needs of citizens and guaranteeing continued growth and prosperous future for all. A short film was then screened highlighting the public sector's main achievements in improving efficiency whilst offering wide-ranging good quality services. موطن تسمع صدى صوته بكل الأرجاء ترى للإنجاز قصة رؤية وهمة تضع للمستقبل بصمة ذاك الوطن رهان التقدم يفوز دوما سواعد أبنائه ترسم لنا لوحة بهوية الوطن تجسد جمال التاريخ بكل معانيه 
تلألأت في سماء الخليج دانة يخطف بريقها الناظرين هي الإرادة عنوان التحدي صولة وجولة الكل هنا يركب الصعب فارسا يحمي الأرض ويذود عن الحمى إذا نادى الوطن لبى النداء مقبلا كالسحاب يمطر رحمة وحبا ووفا في شتى الميادين تراه مبدعا يفكر يطور يبتكر يخلق الفرص يزخر بعلمه الوطن ويفيض أينما غدا بحريننا بك نرفع العلم عاليا بين الورى نحيي الامل وبالعلم ندفع بالرايات نحو السماء لغد مشرق زادهم ضياء وسنا سرعه نسابق فيها الزمن بفريق يجمع الوطن ويجسد الرؤى يحلقون بآمالهم فوق هام السحاب نحو العلا بلادي نحن الروح في جسد الوطن أنت الموطن فنعم الوطن نحن البحرين نحن الوطن His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, also noted that the government is steadfast in enhancing governance and following up on the completion of various projects against set milestones using integrated electronic systems which assist in determining the achievements of these projects. His Royal Highness highlighted that Bahrain was able to overcome many regional and international challenges because of its flexible economic policies and its far-reaching initiatives which have maintained and supported its sustainable development efforts. His Royal Highness expressed aspirations to continue building on the Kingdom's achievements to ensure the kingdom's leading regional position. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, concluded by commending the government form, which has contributed to the development of ideas and policies that serve the government's efficiency. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, then state, or stated that the public sector departments gathered at the government form were there to further strengthen confidence and renew their determination to meet the needs and aspirations of Bahrain citizens in line with the kingdom's comprehensive sustainable development led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness expresses gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister for uh, patronizing the fourth edition of the uh, government form, noting His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's continued support to further develop the government's performance and operational efficiency aimed at benefiting the kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness added that the government form has uh, become an important platform that contributes to the formulation of the government's far-reaching development strategies and initiatives, ensuring further progress for the kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness said the Crown Prince noted the importance of continuing to enhance the quality and delivery of government services to all citizens, residents, investors and visitors, and that the advancement of quality services is vital in order to reaffirm consumer confidence in government services. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed the kingdom's continued commitment to provide quality public service delivery by promoting a culture of innovation and competitiveness in order to drive long-term economic development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister presented awards in recognition of the outstanding performance of several government departments and congratulated them on their successes. His Royal Highness praised their outstanding efforts in improving their services to citizens and their work performance, which helps ensure the Kingdom's prosperous future. The awarded entities are government, uh, our Government Best Practices Award, are the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for the National E-Platform to build a strategic model for governance of international partnerships. The Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, the Civil Aviation Affairs for the El Nouras Electronic Flight Permissions and Scheduling System. The Ministry of Interior for the Customs Affairs for the Ufuq Electronic Trade Facilitation System of Bahrain Customs Customer Service Excellence Award for Customer Support via Tawasul. Survey and Land Registration Bureau, 
Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism, the Central Bank of Bahrain, the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the Ministry of Housing, the Capital Governorate, Electricity and Water Authority, the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, the Information and E-Government Authority, the Education and Training Quality Authority, the Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, the Northern Governorate and the Maharag Municipality. High-level officials convened today for the fourth edition of the Government Forum at the Isa Cultural Center. More details in this report with Mohamed Shaban. The fourth edition of the Government Forum comes a year after the success of the first three with the aim of bringing together the highest level of government across different executive and legislative sectors to shed light on effective strategic development plans that would upgrade government action and boost performance. Today's Government Forum comes to prove that government has the great responsibility and accountability to maintain a quality of services to the public and to maintain their uh, auditing and, uh, and, and measuring the success of these services to meet the overall objective. So very successful exercise. We thank the government for this continued uh, uh, mechanism and progress they are doing on that reform and uh, this will be uh, reflected on the better services to all. This is the fourth edition of the Government Forum. Uh, uh, you can see that all uh, the government, if you like, executive uh, and directors are uh, sitting under one umbrella. Uh, the directives came through His Royal Highness directly to everybody sitting in that room. Uh, and the results were very obvious this year. His Royal Highness demonstrated lots of the results. Uh, and especially and specifically with regards to uh, lots of uh, the achievements that the government has achieved for the last period. The forum, which is held in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, is a reflection of the government's approach towards achieving development within the framework of Economic Vision 2030 and the values it represents, including sustainability, competitiveness and justice. As a government official, we look forward for this uh, annual government meeting. It's very important to um, uh, demonstrate the achievement in the government's project in relation to improving the economy or improving the government services to customers, either private sector or the, to citizens. And I think it's a very good opportunity also to uh, encourage uh, government entities through uh, the awards that's given in best practices and also in communication with customers. Well, I think it is actually one of the greatest achievements for the government to have this forum. Uh, I think within these um, previous four years, this is the fourth mainly government um, forum. The first one, which is, was started in the basics of the values, values of uh, sustainability, values of uh, justice, and values of uh, uh, to compete others actually in, in a good standards. And then we reached to have like very clear vision and an executive mainly um, standards for that. In addition to that, that now we are just like a team, which is Bahrain team. The event is a major step forward on the path of comprehensive and sustainable development and a pioneering government initiative to boost the level of government services to match the expectations of the government action plan. And once again, this forum brings together the highest level of government to discuss the challenges, celebrate the achievements, and pave and plan the way forward for excellence in the government sector and the services it provides. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today gave a wide-ranging presentation on Bahrain's progress and plans for the future at the Bahrain Government Forum 2019. Speaking at the forum, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed the importance of advancing government service delivery by enhancing competition and embracing innovation in order to accelerate development in line with the vision of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness noted that development projects that serve citizens, residents, investors and tourists are foundations for economic success and keys to unlocking the ambitions of the kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness extended his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for patronizing the government form. During the form, His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's most important achievements, the progress of strategic projects and the results of key economic indicators. His Royal Highness also issued directives to launch wide-ranging development projects designed to increase their contribution to the kingdom's economic growth. He commemorated the 100th year anniversary of Bahrain's police by thanking them for their tireless service in safeguarding the kingdom's security, noting that stability is the cornerstone of development and prosperity. His Royal Highness also extended his thanks to the Bahrain Defense Force and the Ministry of Interior for their selfless service. The Crown Prince also expressed thanks and appreciation to Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Kuwait for their continuous support to Bahrain. Speaking about the Physical Balance Program, which aims to achieve a physical balance by 2022, His Royal Highness noted that the initial results were positive. During the first half of 2019, the deficit fell by 38%. Non-oil revenues increased by 47%. Oil revenues increased by 10%. And expenditure reduced by 14% compared with the same period in 2018. His Royal Highness noted most importantly a 50% non-oil growth rate between 2008 and 2018. He highlighted the progress of the National Employment Program, a program designed to make citizens the first choice of employment, noting that since its launch in 3,082 companies from the private sector have contributed to its success. The program has employed a total of 5,918 Bahrainis and helped Bahrainis working in the private sector increase their income by 4.3%. His Royal Highness went on to outline key socioeconomic reforms that are underway, including a government housing program which has completed the delivery of 25,000 housing units. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended thanks to the Ministry of Housing for enhancing citizens' confidence in the government's ability to introduce or to introduce housing developments such as Khalifa Town, Salman Town and East Hid. On this, the Crown Prince issued directives to expedite the completion of the infrastructure services for these new towns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed that the Ministry of Housing has allocated a total of 6,000 new units this year and directed the allocation of an additional 3,000 housing units in East Sitra, as well as inviting the private sector to increase their contribution to the kingdom's housing delivery process. His Royal Highness also spoke of the kingdom's achievements in the health sector, which include the ratification of a new health insurance law, the appointment of a board of directors for the health insurance fund, and the launch of the national ambulance system, which has already reduced ambulance response times at eight locations and once completed will do so across 13 locations. He announced the launch of the National Genome Project that aims to introduce a genetic testing unit at Salmania Medical Complex. The testing unit is set to collect 50,000 samples in the upcoming five years to establish a database that together with the use of data science and technology will improve the quality of health services. His Royal Highness then provided an update on the Kingdom's key infrastructure project that aimed to support government service delivery and create quality opportunities for citizens. He added that the expansion project of Bahrain International Airport is set to open in the first quarter of 2020 and added that temporary operations are to be extended to ensure safety and to make sure all services operate at the required level. Later, the Crown Prince highlighted the progress of the Babco modernization program in addition to the progress of the development of Al Khalij Al Bahrain Basin in preparation for oil extraction. 
The Crown Prince announced the near, near opening of the Line 6 expansion uh, project that uh, will make Alba the world's la la largest aluminum smelter and further enhance Bahrain's competitiveness. His Royal Highness outlined key development projects supported by the GCC Development Fund and the injection of an additional uh, 5 billion US dollars over the coming period, which include housing units in East Head, Khalifa Town, Salman Town and reclamations of East Sith a number of main roads, the development of major water and electricity stations, expanding public transportation and the introduction of six new schools. Turning to the business environment, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the kingdom's efforts in streamlining the business registration process, which included the launch of Sigilla 2.0 that has issued commercial registrations in a record time of 93 seconds, and the launch of Binayat, a streamlined process for issuing building permits within five days. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince added that today, as a result of this enhancement, it now takes 2.7 days on average to issue building permits. He directed the development of urban planning procedures in one year and further directed the development of notarization services to include real estate. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of facing unprecedented challenges as they arise by evaluating and addressing them. He pointed to the swift investigation into the electricity and water bills and directed the immediate launch of a new electricity and water billing system, in addition to accelerating the deployment of a smart net energy metering system in order to build confidence in this service. The Crown Prince also highlighted the challenges faced by the private sector, noting that despite the positive results yielded by the Kingdom of Bahrain. Bahrain's economy is influenced by global economic challenges. In this regard, His Royal Highness emphasized that the government continues to support key economic sectors and support their innovation. On this, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince directed the Ministry of Finance and National Economy to coordinate with the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Bahrain Chamber of Commerce, Simkin and National Banks to create a 100 million Bahraini dinar liquidity fund to restructure corporate financial commitments and further support the growth of innovative activity across key sectors. Recognizing that innovation is a vital component of de development, His Royal Highness outlined the outcomes of the government innovation competition, Fikra, which has received a total of 565 uh, submissions. The four winning projects are Work from Home, Hospitality, E-Volunteer Platform, and the National System for Appointments. He thanks citizens for their participation and expresses appreciation for the extraordinary range of talent dis demonstrated throughout the competition. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also announced the second edition of the Government Innovation Competition Fikra. His Royal Highness noted that Bahraini youth play a key role in the Kingdom's development, adding that the Civil Service Council is working on restructuring 56 government entities, of which 27 have been completed. This restructuring is designed to reinforce the youth's contribution to Bahrain's development process across all government work streams. He highlighted Bahrain's efforts in accelerating development through a citizen-centered approach that is participatory and sustainable. The National Suggestion and Complaint System, Tawassul, has seen an increase in the number of government entities that exceed their service level agreements from 3 to 16. In conclusion, His Royal Highness noted that looking back at previous accomplishments should uh, renew our drive towards the next phase of development, which requires enhanced confidence and renewed resolve. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince added that Team Bahrain continues to relish challenges driven by a passion for achieving our goals.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today visited the general headquarters of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the Commander in Chief of the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the BDF's Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, and a number of senior BDF officers. His Royal Highness was briefed on the BDF strategic plans to further strengthen its military operations and combat readiness. The Crown Prince highlighted that the continued development of the operational capabilities of the BDF is central to ensure the efficiency of the BDF's combat readiness. His Royal Highness commended the military proficiency reached by the BDF and noted their important role alongside the Kingdom's allies in safeguarding regional safety and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince thanked the BDF's personnel for their selfless service in performing their national duties and wish them success in their future endeavors. The government form focuses on the continuation of the improvement of government services and honors every year hardworking institutions, excellent performance and unique projects with well-deserved recognition to ensure the sustainability of development and high-quality services to citizens of Bahrain. More details in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. To enhance sustainable excellence and ensure the delivery of high-quality services to citizens, hard work and perseverance are recognized and appreciated every government forum. The Government Best Practices Awards was received by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for the National Model of Governance of International Partnerships towards Sustainability and Competitiveness. Also by the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications for the automatic issuance of Flight Permits System NORAS. Moreover, by the Ministry of Interior for the Single Window System OFOC. Platform to to recognize those who has created good things for the people of Bahrain. Uh, I am pr proud today that the Ministry of Transport and Telecom uh, won two awards, one for a Tawassal program and one for a NORAS application, uh, a flight uh, uh, permission of uh, application that we have created in the ministry. I think it's important for people to feel that they are recognized for their good work. Uh, of course, you will work for our country regardless, but also when you motivate people, when you award them uh, prizes, they will even do better and they will compete with each other. We were very glad to be recognized today by the government forum for the efforts undertaken by the foreign ministry for the past four years pertaining to the governance of the international partnerships of the Kingdom of Bahrain with the international organizations and particularly the United Nations. We have been working for the past four years to conduct a series of workshops that had all of the ministries and the relevant official authorities who are dealing or who are willing to deal with the United Nations in the future, whereby we have streamlined all the efforts undertaken with the United Nations, with the Government Action Plan, with the Economic Vision 2030, and with the Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations. The Service Excellence Award for Customer Support was received by the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the Ministry of Housing, the Capital Governorate, the Electricity and Water Affairs Authority, the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Information and e-government authority, the Education and Training Quality Authority, Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, the Central Bank of Bahrain, the Northern Governorate and the Muharraq Municipality. It is an honor uh, to, ha to receive this uh, award and it's the second time for the uh, Quality Assurance Authority for Education and Training to get this award and it's actually a, a push for us to work even harder to maintain the standard that we provide for the customers and for the citizen to uh, have uh, you know the services that we provide to the top of the line with with regards to the bahrain authority for culture and antiquities we're delighted to receive an, an award from the royal highnesses this morning and there is a, a great boost of, of energy with everyone around us here today winning the best practice is not just a trophy it's us learning from the experience of the other entities. It's gathering the strategies to serve a goal that has been directed by the government. 
the government has a different entities. We have to know every entities which directions are going to achieve our own goal based on our strategies. So the forum is like a KBI to measure our performance as a government. Recognized by His Royal Highness is something that I would never forget in my life. So uh, we strongly urge anyone to go for it and uh, just pitch your idea and um, you never know, it might be my place. Well basically my idea was to allow certain people to work from home. So we have some, uh, spe some specific job descriptions were, that were uh, limited to 83 job descriptions in the government that uh, could work from home without affecting the institution itself. The government forum continues to reflect the government's unwavering commitment to increasing efficiency to achieve the kingdom's strategic goals and provide the best services to its citizens in line with the 2019-2020 government program and the principles of sustainability, competitiveness and fairness which are underpinned by Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. Today is a day of celebration and recognition, of perseverance and hard work towards achieving the vision of the government, sustainability of excellence. From the Government Forum, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar, Bahrain International. The fourth edition of the government plan was titled Sustainable Economic and Social Security under a balanced fiscal budget and was attended and discussed by leaders, policymakers and executive officials and ultimately affirmed the importance of balancing the budget as part of the Kingdom's plans for sustainable development. The chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce, Samir Nas, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for establishing a 100 million dinar liquidity fund to help restructure the pending financial responsibilities of the private sector companies. Nas also added that the move indicates His Royal Highness's support as well as the support of the government of the private sector and praised His Royal Highness's keenness to empower the sector in Bahrain to contribute to the national economy. Now said uh, that the chamber will fully cooperate and coordinate with the government in order to help the country to establish strong economic and commercial foundations. Nas also praised the holding of the government form 2019 as per the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which are intended to meet the developmental objectives of the government and the aspirations of the people on all levels. The executive director of Rashid Equestrian and Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, crowned the winner of the annual Bahrain Horse Racing Cup, which was held yesterday at the British New Market Race Course. After the end of the race, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa presented the Kingdom of Bahrain Cup to the owner, Pal Mal, and his partners, and presented prizes to the trainer and rider of the winning horse. Sheikh Salman stressed the importance of the annual annual races under the patronage and contribution of the Kingdom of Bahrain, which is considered the largest and most prestigious racetrack in the world, noting the distinctive and historical relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the British New Market Race Course. He thanked the management of New Market Race Course Club for the continuous cooperation coordination in order to organize the Bahrain Cup and make it successful.